Hi there, Prairie Plant Girl here. Today I'm going to be planting up Lobelia. Lobelia is a great bedding plant. I love it in hanging baskets and containers. It just has a nice light airiness that fills in the basket and container. So if you've ever heard of filler, spiller, thriller, this is kind of that filler part, but it also can be a spiller. And the Lobelia that I'm going to be planting today are spiller Lobelias. So these are both hanging or trailing Lobelias. One is White Lady and one is Crystal Palace. So the Crystal Palace is kind of a, a bluey purple color and White Lady is white flowers. The texture of the leaves is very fine. The flowers are small and delicate looking as well. They just add a nice contract to more impactful thriller flowers in a container or hanging basket design. Another great thing about Lobelia is it can take some shade or sun. So it's great for areas where you might have, maybe you have like hanging baskets on a deck or something where some of them have more sun than others throughout the day. And these will help to keep a cohesive look and design to your baskets or planters because they, they can perform pretty much the same no matter if they're in uh, full sun or part shade. The only thing they don't like is to be in really, really hot sun. So if you're in a full sun spot that's going to be really baking hot and dry, that's going to uh, negatively impact your lobelia. So you might want to look for something different that can take that heat and dryness a little better. Speaking of dryness, lobelia does prefer to stay moist. It will suffer quite quickly when it gets dried out. I can often water my baskets with lobelia in them a couple of times a day in the high heat of our summer here in Saskatchewan, Canada. So if they do start to dry out, you'll notice them starting to wilt. And if they're just wilting, you can usually, I find, just give them a good watering, a good soaking, especially if it's a hanging basket or planter. You might want to even just fill a bucket that's bigger than that container and just set your whole hanging basket or planter in that container of water and let them really soak up and really, really moisten that root ball. Instead of just sometimes if you just pour water over, it's just going to drain through and they might not get that moisture that they need. And giving them all that moisture will also help to cool the roots down, which the plant will like. If they've started to brown and dry up, they're probably done and you might need to cut them right back and if possible, tuck something else in or replace them. But if they have just started to wilt, then I find giving them that good soaking can really revive the lobelia plants. If they start to get a little bit gangly, long, shaggy looking, you can just take some scissors or shears and just trim them back. I find even by like a third to a half, it works really well to just kind of bring them back to life. You know, partway through the summer, sometimes the the plants and our especially hanging baskets can start to just look a little rangy and something like a good trim can really just bring them back and make them look better for the rest of the summer so they can carry through without replacing the plants. So hopefully that gives you some tips and ideas of things to do with your lobelia uh, to use in your planters and baskets. And I'm gonna now plant my lobelia seed. It's really easy to grow from seed. You can find it quite inexpensive quite often at garden centers. So, you know, I often can find it in, in small flats, but growing it from seed is just one more way to get it and have it ready and know that you're going to get the ones that you want available. I find often in flats they're in a mixed color palette. You can get them in whites, blues, purples, and kind of a wineish pinky red color. I find usually here that wine pinky red color isn't really available and I don't see it often for sale as seeds, but once in a while you'll find one like that, especially when you buy those mixed packs. But I'm just gonna fill up these containers. I'm actually going to start three dozen of each variety today. I think I should have enough seeds for that. And uh, once I get these filled with, with my potting mix, I'll bring you in and show you how I plant them. Okay, so I have my 
My tray all filled with soil. This is just a potting mix I've made up with a combination of peat moss, probably about four parts peat moss to one part perlite, and I moistened it down really well and just filled my trays with that. Uh, I find that's all I need for seed starting. I don't look for anything fancy from the store. I start too many seeds to be buying bags of seed starting mix. One more thing that I thought I should mention about the lobelia is that you're supposed to be starting it about 10 to 12 weeks before you plant it out. And now I'm at about nine weeks before my average less frost date, which means that uh, I'm right in the right range for sowing these seeds because they won't get planted out until approximately one week after my average less frost date. They do not like the cold. So you have to pay attention to the temperatures and make sure that it's not going to be getting anywhere near that frost. As long as it's above like about five degrees Celsius, usually at night, that's pretty safe for putting things like lobelia out into your landscape. Okay, so I'm going to start with the white lady lobelia. Lobelia seeds tend to be fairly small, so we'll see if they're, they're usually not pelleted and these are not. They're just a little envelope. Yeah, so let's see if I can show you. So hopefully you can see they're like grains of sand or dust almost. Very tiny seed to be working with. Still quite a bit left in my little envelope there. So what I'm going to do is I will just be taking a small pinch and I'll just be sprinkling it on the soil surface. Hopefully that's showing up in the camera on my hand there so you can kind of see, get an idea. And I'll just move along through the cells like that. So I'll probably wind up with half a dozen or so in each cell and that'll be fine. Leaving a couple in each cell will be fine uh, because they are such a delicate airy plant. If I get a whole six, five or six germinated in a cell, then I'll have to thin them out a little bit. But to have like two or three in a cell, I find not to be an issue. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with these here. So there, they're planted. So as you can see, I still have quite a bit left in my hand here. And uh, that's, that's because they are so tiny and small. And I'll tell you, I have at least six, I'd say, in every single one of these cells, and there's still that much left. So you could get a lot of one of these packages. Sewing lobelia, as you can see, is pretty easy and straightforward as long as you can get a little pinch and just kind of wiggle your fingers like this and just slowly distribute it. You just can't be fussy about how many you get in each cell. You get a lot in a package usually of seeds, so I don't find it's worth fussing around. If you really wanted, you could get a toothpick or something, wet the end and try and pick up seeds individually and set them on the soil. But when it gets to be this small like this, even that, just getting it onto the soil without picking up the soil instead of dropping off the seed can be quite difficult in my opinion. So I like, I like the just sprinkle it on method. So I'll just try and dump the rest back in and I'll have lots for next year. Now lobelia, as you might have guessed, being such small seed, doesn't uh, want to be really covered up. It needs light to germinate. So I'm just going to put my tag in. I'm going to go along and just gently tap these down. just to make sure that the seed has contact with the soil or potting medium, I guess. Now I might be picking a few up on my fingers, but there's so much that I've distributed here all over that I should get enough in each cell still to have pretty good, good rates here. Now you could go through, even with something that doesn't want to be covered and needs light to germinate, 
You could go through with just a very fine sprinkling of vermiculite if you like. And that will just help to uh, decrease the chance of getting fungus developing on your soil and you kind of hold the moisture at that top level. That's a very fine sprinkling that I have there. A little more down in this corner here. And that, like I said, it's just gonna help with keeping fungus and things from growing on top and helps to regulate that moisture level up at the top of your soil where your seeds are germinating. So I'm just gonna go through and do the exact same thing with the Crystal Palace and then this is done. It's like a five minute job to plant like, what is it, six dozen lobelia? That's pretty good. Okay, two types of lobelia planted and ready. Uh, if you're wondering where I got the seed, it is from TT Seeds. They're in Manitoba, Canada. I'm just gonna put my tag in so I don't forget that. And then I'm just gonna water them down well. You may have noticed that I forgot to uh, pat down or tamp down the seeds on this side of the tray here when I was doing the Crystal Palace, but that's okay. That little bit of watering should have helped to settle the seeds down in the, into the potting mix as well. So I'm not gonna stress about it. You can't stress about these things when you're starting seeds. Just go and enjoy it, because that's what gardening's about, right? So I'm going to now put a humidity dome over this and I'm gonna set it on my plant stand here behind me. You can see the lights are off right now, but that's just because they make a crazy glare on me when I'm trying to do videos here. But I'll be turning the lights right back on as soon as I'm done here. And that will give the light that these plants need to germinate. The humidity dome just helps to keep the uh, humidity and helps to keep the seeds moist while they're germinating because you do not want seeds to dry out while they're germinating. And like I said, they need light to germinate. One thing when you put a humidity dome over seeds that need light to germinate, sometimes the humidity builds up so much in that dome that the light isn't really getting to the seeds. So it's a good idea to just check once a day and wipe the dome out or give it a tap to disperse that moisture if you need to, to make sure that the light is really getting to the seeds where they need it. So hopefully this inspired you to find some lobelia, plant some up this year, and maybe even start some seeds of your own. It's not too late. If you can grab some and uh, get it started soon, you'll be good to go. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.